We have vaccines for everything from the flu to polio, but what about weight loss? Researchers say it could be on the horizon after testing shows promise in lab mice. Fox 5's Jennifer Williams has the skinny on this new study. Unlike the current and expensive injectable GLP-1 weight loss drugs that act to suppress appetite, the next breakthrough could come from the ground up in the form of a preventative vaccine. We've lost contact with these microbes as we've transitioned from hunter and gatherers moving into these modern societies. In a study published in the journal Brain, Behavior and Immunity, researchers at the University of Colorado found that a simple bacteria commonly found in soil and cow's milk might prevent weight gain even with an unhealthy diet. My main finding was when we gave subcutaneous injections of Mbaki weekly, while also feeding these mice a Western diet, so high sugar, high fat, we can see it as analogous to junk food, these mice did not experience that excessive weight gain or excessive visceral adipose tissue development. PhD student Luke Desmond was the lead author on the study, working under Dr. Christopher Lowry, who is most known for his research on chronic stress-related psychiatric disorders. We wanted to see if MVACU was affecting reproductive health, neuroinflammation, and anxiety-like behavior. In the groundbreaking study, mice given this bacteria didn't gain weight even when eating the equivalent of fast food for 10 weeks, which, of course, raises some questions. What about in a year or two, right, if that mouse is still alive? Currently, we think that they're very healthy. But that doesn't necessarily mean if this drug was available to humans, we'd be able to eat whatever we want. We're talking about mice in a relatively small population. I definitely think that getting your bacteria in your gut healthy is a very, very good thing to do. And probably people that are thinner by nature probably have healthier gut bacteria. Dr. Sue Dakotis is a triple board certified weight loss physician in New York City. It would be great if they can you know, level it up, give it to people, and see if it can compete and give us the same results as a GLP-1 drug by reducing inflammation in the body and being able to cause long-term weight control. According to Dr. Lowry, the team is hoping to initiate its first inhuman clinical trials with oral administration heat-killed mycobacteria in 2025 or 2026 and believe it could be a more affordable and accessible option than injections. From the newsroom, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.